tugboat, for its size, is the most powerful craft afloat. And the star tugs are the power behind the docks and waterways that make up the big city port. This is Tugs. Sometimes a real bad character sailed into big city port. But on the day I'm remembering, no one suspected trouble. We were worrying about the high winds coming. Tug work would be difficult. Hey, ten cents. A great dawn, eh? Yeah, don't be fooled by appearance, you sunshine. You know what Captain Star says? Red sky at night, sailor's delight. Red sky in the morning, sailor's warning. Oh, it's, it's bad weather coming then. Yeah, strong winds on the way. It'll be here soon. Get a move on, you two. The storm flags are out. Aye, we know, Jim. We're just saying, we'll, well then get on with that. Hercules is already out answering a mayday. When you deliver that oil, bring in Scuttlebutt Pete. He's dredging in the bay. Aye, aye, sir. Yeah, we're off now. There'll be some extra jobs to batten down before the storm hits the harbour. Come on, sunshine. No time for daydreaming. No, me. Good morning, Zebedee. What's good about it? I wins on the way. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of work to do today. Oh, hey, what's going on? He's cut right across us. Yeah, you would. Just when we're in hurry. Come on. Oi, come on. Hey, look how many he's torn. Yeah, four. He likes to show he's as strong as any Z-Stacks tug. Oh, look. Look, he's losing one. Hey, you, you, you think we better tell him? Yeah, he hasn't seen it. I suppose we should. Oi, Zebedee! I'm first. It's my right of way. You'll have to wait. Yeah, you've lost one of your barges. It's going adrift. You haven't me young. Oh. Yeah, don't worry. I'll hold it till you secure it. Don't interfere. I can manage. Oh, so yourself. Just offering to be helpful, that's all. We don't need anything startups has to offer. Do it your own way, then. Uh, uh, wait. Uh, hold it for me, will you? Uh, Johnny Cuba had dropped anchor, waiting till he wasn't seen. Nobody in sight. That's what I like. Trying to slip in close at a port and uh, <laughs> meet my business pals. <laughs> At Johnny Cuba's idea of a business pal was, like himself, a gangster. Zebedee was out, as he'd been told, looking for ships or steamers, even fishing boats that might need a tow. Anything that might please Captain Zero. Ah, Johnny Cuba. Oh, dear. Well, well, well. Captain Zero's little Zebby. Hello, Johnny. I mean, uh, Mr. Cuba. Uh, good eye. Nice to see you. Listen, uh, do something for me. Slip me into the harbour so I'm not breaking the law, eh? I'll see you all right. I'd love to, sir. Honest, I would. But no I ifs, no buts, Zebedee. I need a tow right now. The wind's making me angry, upsetting me plans. Sorry, sir. But when you say Captain Zero's giving me other orders. Listen to me, kid. Zero owes me, understand? So don't get funny or you'll be in deep trouble. And I do mean deep. A gangster told Zebedee to tow him to the old docks that hadn't been used for years, where he'd arranged to meet his criminal friends. I don't like it here, and it's out of bounds to ship and... Too bad. 
Now I need coal right away. And be quick about it or I'll break your stack. You mean stealers? Did I say steal? Just get it when nobody's looking. Yes, sir. Please, please, sir. And don't try anything fancy or you'll find yourself at the bottom of the harbour with cement in your hold. <laughs> Zebedee was now in a terrible situation. Johnny Cuba would sink him if he didn't help him. And because of something that happened years ago between those two, he knew Captain Zero would sink him if he did. So he couldn't go and tell the captain, could he? While Zebedee was trying to work this out, he saw the two star switchers out in the bay struggling with Scuttlebutt Pete. <laughs> Come on, you two. Good sort of deal. Or you won't get me home before the storm breaks. I cannot hold you, man. Oh, do it, El Beast. Do better than that. You've got to. Oh, I can't. The wind's too strong. Oh, what are we going to do? If only I could fix one more line. Oi, uh, Zebedee, give us a hand. So he can't stop uh, the party jumps to. Now just hold him steady while I get another line of ball. That's all. Why should I? Because we're in trouble, that's why. And you are smaller than the party. Uh, uh, right, just this once, but don't tell Captain Zero. Oh, oh, oh. oh that's it. Thanks, Zebedee. Oh, that's just what we need. Oh, not a weird scuttle, but... Me? I never gossip. Never. That'll be the day. If Captain Zero knows I helped start jobs, I'm lost. We're all squared then. I will quit, Yeah, thanks. Checking all the time that no one was watching him, Zebedee kept a lookout for coal for Johnny Cuba. Cool. If I can just slip one badge away, that'll keep Johnny quiet. I'll worry about Captain Zero later. That's all. I thought I was the only one stuck with coal deliveries to do. I wonder what he's up to. I think I'd better check with Captain Star. Zebby, I'll put in a good word for you with Zero. Uh, no, uh, please don't do that, Mr. Cuba. I mean, he's bad books as it is. Uh, I mean... You yeah, he... mean he wouldn't like you helping me, eh? That it? Uh, no, uh, I don't mean that. I, I, no, he, he sent me out to, um, you know, the wind's causing trouble and... Uh, <laughs> you can go, mate. Long as you're back here tonight, OK? No worries. Uh, whatever you say, no worries, Mr. Cuba. Hey, Big Mac, I've just heard from Sally's seaplane that Hercules has got the Princess Alice in tow. Oh, sounds serious. Yeah, I've been damaged at sea. <laughs> Not another of your disasters, warrior. Not me, honest. <laughs> I was joking. Come on, we'll tell OJ, then go out and bring her in. Yeah, anything to help the Princess Alice. in the estuary, Zebedee was trying yet again to carry out Captain Zero's orders. Help! What the? Who's that? Help! Out here! Coast Guard! It wasn't his lucky day. Zebedee had enough on his deck as it was, but he couldn't ignore someone in trouble. Never thought I'd be glad to see you, Zebedee. What? Oh dear, how is a Coast Guard getting this mess? Johnny Cuba pushed me into the rocks. My engine's dead. I need a tow. Johnny who? Don't play dumb with me. I hear Zero and Johnny are good buddies. Oh, not anymore. I can't ah, wait. So you do know him? Hey. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, no, no. Uh, no, I just come out here to see if a ship might need a tow, you know, with these winds and that. Ah, uh. uh, salvage is what you're after. Well, you'll get something if you get me into port, I'm sure. Yeah, you need repairs. Take it to Lucky's yard. Hi, Zebedee. Big Mac, what are you? Good day to you, Coast Guard. Nothing serious, I hope. Chasing a crook and salvage by a crook, that's all. Oh, you'll survive it. My guess is you've taken that gangster somewhere, Zebedee. Come on, own up. 
Well, all I did was bring him in past the harbour, pa. I said I had to let him go because I worked with you. Where he went after that, I don't know. I've a good mind to run you in for questioning. Hey? You wait till Captain Zero hears about it. Oh. He won't like it, you know that. I do, I do. Some thanks I get for rescuing you. What are you doing here? You're supposed to be out there answering distress calls. Sorry. I'll tell you where you've been. You've been helping those star switchers, you creep. Ought to be a goody goody star tag, would you? No trouble. Hey, I haven't finished yet. Zebedee, come back here. Ah, oh, the stars are docking Princess Alice. <laughs> that should be worth watching in this wind. Docking a liner can be a hazardous business for tugs, especially with cross currents and the danger of this high wind. Usually the liner can assist, but the Princess Alice couldn't do much due to the damage to her rudder. With all their expertise and experience, the Star Tug team were finding her very difficult to keep under their control. What's happening back there? Come on, stars! She's not responding, Hercules! The wind's too strong! stars, not to help them beat the Zed stacks. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Cubas here. Well, 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 it's Zebby back again. Keep doing as Johnny Cuba tells you, and you'll come to no harm, you with me? Uh, yes, Mr. Cuba, I hate the wind's Right, stopping. there's a few other little things I want you to do for me before we go. Now, listen, this is what... Oh, I oh, oh, it's Hercules! Hello, what's going on here? Oh, yes, Ebedee. And where are you taking our friend, the well-known Johnny Cuba, eh? Oh, well, I, uh, um... What's it to you, star? We know you, Johnny Cuba. Up to no good. We'll hand him over to the authorities, Ebedee. They may like to have a word with him. No, you don't. Well, wait a minute. The gangster tried to back out, but collided with Zebedee. You will not go anywhere. Just to make sure Zebedee rammed into Johnny Cuba, trapping him against the quayside. Well done, Zebedee, my dear. Come on, let's take him in. I'll break your stack for this one. They can't hold Johnny Cuba! The authorities did hold Johnny Cuba and gave official thanks to Zebedee and Hercules. As Ten Cents and Sunshine set out on their last job of the day, the wind dropped completely. Hey, you think that storm never happened, eh? It's a lovely evening now, bud. Yeah. Ah, oh, look who's here. The Zed Sacks hero. Oh, yes, Ebony. Congratulations. Yeah, not bad, was it? Nah, you were great. The Captain Zero's over the moon. Now Johnny Cuba can't get at him. Yeah, thanks for helping us. We scuttled up, Pete. Uh, just forget about that, will you? Uh, Captain Zero uh, wouldn't be pleased to hear about that. No, oh, dear. <laughs> yeah, no, sorry, neither. <laughs> we won't tell, don't you worry, kid. You'd better not. I've had enough troubles today. Well, uh, see you fellas, eh? Oh, uh, Zebedee, if you ever think of leaving the Zed stacks... What? You crazy? Today was today, OK? Oh, <laughs> yeah, well, just a thought. Yeah? Well, you think too much. After that day, things continued much as they were. But Zebedee showed that everyone must have a good streak in them somewhere. <laughs> Even Zed stacks. Mm -hmm.